Hi everyone, in this video, we learn how to make this beautiful isometric zoom animation in PowerPoint. And of course, I'll have these slides available for download, so you can try them out for yourselves. To start with, we'll hop over to a blank presentation and we'll create about six blank slides. Having done that, let's go to Format Background and let's give our background a dark color. And let's apply to all. Now on slide one, let's go to Insert. Let's go to Pictures, Stock Images. And let's look for something like Landscape Images. I'll choose six dark landscape images so we can fill all our six slides with them. Once you've selected your images, click on Insert and they should all appear on the first slide. Having done that, let's populate all our slides with these images. So I'll simply copy onto each slide. Some images may require to be cropped into an aspect ratio of 16 by 9, so they fit our slides perfectly. Like that. And I'll quickly do that with the rest of the images I've inserted. Once we have our slides populated with the images, let's add some headliner text to each slide. To keep it simple, I'll just simply number them slides 1 through 6. So for slide 1, I'll just type slide 1. I'll change the font to white and I'll choose a bold font so it stands out a little more. Let's make this nice and big. and ensure it's in the center of the slide. On certain images, we may have to adjust the image's darkness so there's a good contrast between the text and the image. So let's copy this onto every slide. Let's make this image a little darker and carry on. Ideally, we should also ensure that all the text is center aligned to the slide. And so we have our six cover slides ready. The next step is to go over to File and we'll export all these images as JPEGs. So go to File save as, choose the option of JPEG and simply click on save and all slides. PowerPoint will inform you where the slides are saved and you can click on OK. And so we've created six cover images and we'll come back to these later. What we'll do next is remove the text from these slides And we'll go ahead and add some sample content to every slide. We'll go through the slides and change the numbering. And so we have six slides with our content ready. Now it's time to create our zoom. Let's go over to slide number one and insert a new slide above it. Let's give it a blank layout and then go to insert, zoom, slide zoom and let's select all the six slides that we've created. Let's spread these out into two columns. And then let's go to slide number one, click on zoom and go to change image and over here we'll add 
the cover images that we created. So we'll do this for every slide. You can also right click on the zoom and go to change image. And in this way, we've created six covers that are linked to the six slides with the content. Let's go back to our zoom options and ensure we have return to zoom enabled on all the slides. So it should work something like this. Having created the basic zoom structure for our presentation, it's time to add a 3D isometric look to all these slides. So let's go over to shape options, 3D rotation. Let's go over to more options. Under presets, choose isometric top up. Let's minimize that. And then under 3D format, bottom bevel, give it a width of about six points and a height of about 20 points. So that when we zoom into this, we see this beautiful beveled effect with the image bleeding over onto the sides. And that looks pretty good. After this, we'll arrange all our slides in a diagonal fashion. It should look something like this. We can readjust the positioning later. Next what we'll do is draw a long rectangle and tilt it this way, send it to back, take it out of the slide on the both ends. Then we'll select our zoom slides and we'll rotate them so that they're slightly more parallel to the rectangle that we just created. And with a little adjustment, we can match it a little more closely. So something like this, and then we can move our slides about like this. Then let's change the color of this rectangle that we've created. Let's give it a light outline and a little more transparency so that when we check it in full screen, it looks something like this. So a track along which our slides are running. Then we can replicate this and move it to the other side as well. Send it to back and then readjust the slides within it. So we have something like this. Let's click and see. And that looks beautiful. And finally, we have one step left in which we'll duplicate this slide. Select slide one. Let's overlap all of these. We're going to align, align right and align bottom. And then we'll slide these out of the slide. We'll do the same thing with the remaining slides. Align right and then align bottom and then drag them outside the parameter of our slide. So they shouldn't be visible. And on slide two, we'll add a morph transition. Let's see if that works. And that looks really nice. And there you have it folks, a quick and easy way to make this beautiful 3D isometric zoom presentation. And of course, the slides are available for download. The link's in the description below.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.